If you think that investing is risky or complicated, then think again, because in this video, I'm going to share with you a simple proven investment strategy that could make you a millionaire. The best part, it requires no prior knowledge, zero skills, almost no effort, and yet it is proven to provide the best long-term returns. What I'm openly sharing here is a time-tested strategy that actually works and is supported by academic evidence. I'm also including links to all of my references where applicable, so make sure to check them out in the description box below. An effective investment strategy is rooted in a concept in mathematical finance known as compound growth or compound interest. Compounding is the process in which the returns of an investment are reinvested to produce even more returns over time. Let's show this with an example. Let's say we're investing $60,000 and we're getting 10% returns. So at the end of each year, we're getting $6,000 as profits. Now, if we withdraw our profits each year, over 30 years, our total profit would be $180,000. Not bad. Now, let's see what happens if, instead of withdrawing our profits each year, we reinvest them to allow them to compound over time. For that, I'm going to use a compound interest calculator. So starting with the same $60,000, same interest rate, and same duration, after 30 years, we would end up with wait for it, $1 million. Don't have 60,000 to start with? No problem. Even if we started with zero and invested $500 each month for 30 years with the same rate of return, we'll still end up with a little over $1 million. Compounding is so incredibly powerful that Albert Einstein is believed to have said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. The key factors that determine how many compounds over time are the amount invested, whether it's the initial amount or the monthly contributions, the time for the money to grow, and your rate of return. The amount to invest or the time frame are mostly under our control, but how do we get those 10% returns over time? Part two, meet the most amazing wealth building tool. Some people believe that the stock market is like a giant casino where traders bet on prices going up or down. But at the core, the stock market is about investing in shares of real companies with real businesses. For over 130 years, the stock market has been the best place to compound money over time, with long-term average returns of around 10%. This is not to say that all companies in the stock market have performed well. But yet, if you invested your money in the stock market as a whole, your money would have grown in a similar way to what we have seen in the compound interest calculator. But I heard the stock market is risky and some people have lost all their money. To be a successful investor, it's important to first understand why most people lose money in the stock market. While the stock market has averaged 10% per year for well over a century, studies have shown that investors, on average, didn't make as much. So why is that? Legendary investor and billionaire Warren Buffett has the answer. He says the greatest enemies of the equity investors are expenses and emotions. In other terms, it boils down to fees, fear, greed, or a combination of these three. Let's start with fees. The average person invests money in a professionally managed mutual fund, saving plan, or insurance linked scheme, typically following the advice of a financial advisor. What people don't realize though, is that hidden fees and commissions associated with these financial products also compound with time. So over the years, these hidden fees wipe away a large portion of our total returns. Next, fear. While the stock market has averaged 10% per year for the long term, in any single year, returns were all over the place, as you could see in this table. This short-term market volatility scares a lot of people. So at the slightest market drop, most investors typically sell in an attempt to protect their money. And more often than not, they end up doing this at exactly the worst time, right before the market rebounds. Remember, even when the market drops, if we don't sell, we don't lose. Greed. Some investors believe in their own ability to outsmart the market. Ironically, these are the most financially savvy out there. So they try to cherry pick individual stocks or attempt to time their trades depending on economic forecasts or other indicators. But again, Empirical evidence proves that picking individual stocks is a loser's game. It's extremely difficult to match, let alone beat, the stock market returns over the long term. Even full-time investment professionals fail to do so reliably or consistently. So what are the odds of someone like you and me? But my cousin bought Tesla stock and made 80%. My best friend made 1000% with Dogecoin last year. 
Well, these guys were lucky, but don't believe that they or you and I could repeat what was a one-time lucky strike. In his best-selling book, The Psychology of Money, Morgan Housel explains it best. He wrote, But good investing isn't necessarily about earning the highest returns. It's about earning pretty good returns that you can stick with and which can be repeated for the longest period of time. That's when compounding runs wild. Princeton University professor Burton Malkiel agrees. In his 1973 timeless classic, A Random Walk Down Wall Street, he wrote, It is not hard to make money in the market. What is hard to avoid is the alluring temptation to throw your money away on short, get-rich-quick speculative binges. Therefore, successful investing is not about luck. It's about being patient and consistent for the long term. Part 4. A Proven Investment Strategy so what's the best strategy to get the long-term returns of the stock market? Before we answer this question, if you're getting value out of this, please hit that like button on YouTube. It helps me a lot in growing the channel and helps others discover that video. Now back to our topic. By investing in a portfolio that owns shares of all companies in the stock market and then holding it for the long term, we are guaranteed to get the average returns of the market. But again, buying shares of all companies that make up the stock market is totally impractical. So, how do we do it? Well, luckily for us, in 1975, John Bogle, the founder of Vanguard, created the first index fund. And ever since, investing has never been the same. So, what's an index fund? Let's break it down. An index is a benchmark or a hypothetical collection of company stocks that make up a certain financial market. An example is the popular S&P 500. It simply represents a collection of the 500 largest company stocks in the US. This includes companies like Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet or Google, Tesla and many others. An index fund is a fund that pools money from investors and systematically invests in all components of that index. So when you buy shares in an index fund that tracks the S&P 500, you indirectly own shares in all 500 companies that make up that index. By owning a global stock market index fund, you literally own thousands of companies that are conveniently packaged in a single low-cost index fund. Investing in index fund has many advantages. Number one, rock bottom fees. Since the management of index funds is mostly automated, we don't pay ridiculous fees for professional fund managers. The second advantage is instant diversification. By owning an index fund, we practically own hundreds if not thousands of stocks, which eliminates the risk of individual stocks. Number three is simplicity. By investing in index funds, you don't have to spend any time researching individual stocks or following the financial news. Number four, unbeatable long-term returns. Over the long term, index funds have outperformed the vast majority of professionally managed mutual funds. This has been proven time and again in multiple studies. Therefore, investing in index funds is the best long-term strategy for building wealth. And this is not just my opinion. In his 1993 letter to his shareholders, Warren Buffett wrote, A low-cost index fund is the most sensible equity investment for the great majority of investors. He also added, By periodically investing in an index fund, the know-nothing investor can actually outperform most investment professionals. If this is the advice given by the most praised investor that has ever walked the earth, I think it would be wise to listen. And it's not just Warren Buffett. Other great financial minds agree. Now that we know that buying index funds is the best investment strategy for the long term, the next question is, how do we actually invest in index funds? While investors in the US and a couple more countries can buy index funds directly from index funds providers such as Vanguard, the rest of us are not really that lucky. Therefore, people around the world in general, and in the Middle East in particular, would have to buy index funds in a slightly different way. So click or tap this video card on the screen where I show you how to buy index funds. Or alternatively, click or tap this card to watch another video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't to get notified when my next video comes out. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.